In my mathematics classes, I like to have an environment where students are constantly communicating with one another. And when they have questions, they turn to one another. While sometimes it gets a little loud, it's a lot of fun. Please, task, when do you switch the marker? When you get the bell go off, okay? I recently read a book about building thinking classrooms in mathematics, so I'd like to think that I have a thinking classroom now. So if you come to my mathematics classes, you'll see students standing for nearly the entire hour. You'll see them in different groups every day, and you'll see them working on uh, various tasks posted around the room. When my students have the opportunity to come in and choose a card, and that card determines what group they're in, they get very excited. There's a lot of excitement built around what group am I going to be in today? What board am I going to be at in the room? And am, am I going to be in a window group? All of these things together sort of help students take ownership of their learning. And with so much support, when students realize how much support there is from their peers around them, uh, it really helps raise everybody up. We have students from all over the world, so every incoming class is 50% mainstream students, 50% English language learners, and we seek out diversity. So we generally have about 30 languages in our student body. In my opinion, multi-language learners should be talking as much as possible during every class. And this structure really provides an opportunity for them. There are multiple languages spoken in the classroom. And so when students have to work with other students who don't speak their language, it forces them to do their best to communicate with one another in a common language. You know, whether that language is color coding on the board, which I love to see when students grab different colored markers to try to explain their thinking to a student who doesn't speak their language, or um, if that language isn't showing their math or if that language isn't trying to speak English. I think this approach uh, is really helpful. So when you're working in a, in a thinking classroom, um, you have to have every single step of the way planned. You have to know what your questions are going to be. And it has to be much more calculated than what a traditional classroom is where you're just showing the students. Especially in the beginning, it takes a lot of time to develop these skills. And it's also frustrating because the students are not used to this type of work and they just want to sit down and copy notes. And so in this type of a class, classroom, it's so different and so, um, so much more rigorous, so much more thinking, so much more exploration. And you can't just throw a problem at a kid and say, do it. You have to know, you have to know what the steps are to be able to ask the questions to get them to the place that they need to be on their own. I have some students who joke with me on a regular basis that they should be the ones getting paid and not me. <laughs> um, and I, I like when they think that because to them, it from their point of view, it looks like they're doing all of the math and they're doing all the teaching and they're doing all the supporting one another and they're doing all the finding out without me telling them and I think that's how it should be. So we're gonna do negative five. Mm -hmm. right, so, so this the is negative two. Be one yeah, so negative five times three. Will it matter if it's negative? No, we, we change it negative later. Okay. He's really been a, a voice in the teaching community to promote thinking about our instruction and how to further it. People are seeing just the value in the way that he runs his classroom and they want to emulate that. And, and he's very respected and the students love him, so why not try this thing that's working for him?